Hello, I hope everybody is doing well and that you are blessed and sealed in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And in this season in which we're in, this season in which we celebrate the birth of our Savior, you know, I know we all realize that it probably wasn't this time of the year in which Jesus Christ, the Almighty, was born. Many speculate sometime in September, but in any case, this is the, the season, the time of the year in which not only my family, but most of the world celebrates the Messiah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the only Son of Abba Father in Heaven. I celebrate His birth and you know when you really kinda sit back and think about it you know how much we take this time for granted and I know it's been mentioned many times before but when you think about not only how Christ came so humbly you know he was born uh, from a girl that was from many estimates was probably a teenager and you know who is conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit but it was outside of, of wedlock and so when you think of the implications of what took place and what the people that time must have thought about that whole situation here was a teenage girl that was pregnant, who was not married, who was betrothed to a man that obviously saw what was happening and was quite frankly ready to uh, not marry her until the angel came to Joseph and explained to him what was going on. You know, Christ was not born in some huge palace. He was born amongst livestock and probably uh well think about where where we keep animals especially back then you know he i believe this is my own belief i believe he he came in this way because he wanted to make himself approachable he went out amongst the people because he wanted to show the ones he loved how approachable he is. You know, he wasn't, he didn't portray himself on, on a massive throne, though we know he is on the throne. You know, he went amongst the people. He didn't go directly to the, the church leadership of the day. As a matter of fact, the church leadership of that day despised our Savior. Let's not take for granted what Christ did for us. He came so humbly. He came as a newborn baby in the most unlikely of circumstances for a king to be, to be born, the most unlikely of circumstances for the Savior of the world to reveal himself. And yet we still squabble over things of this world over material things and just over life in general. But this whole time, Christ is telling us that, to come to him, that he, is, that he is approachable. He came as one of the weakest vessels on this planet, a human child. When you think about when a, when a human child is born, they can't be away from their mother for just a few moments. They've got to be cared for 24 hours a day, everything. He made it so he is approachable. He came as the most, the most vulnerable of, of, of creatures, the human being. Even though we were made in his image, he came so humbly. And so, and so weak in the, in the human state when he was born. Because I feel he wanted to let his people know, let mankind know that he can be approached. And so, 
during this time in which we are in this crazy time of, I believe, the, the end of days. Understand that Jesus Christ loves you. Understand that in this season which we celebrate his birth and you know here in America we call it the Christmas season and you know I don't want to get into the big debate where where the, the term Christmas came from let's don't go down that road let's understand the season in which we're in the season of of reminding each other reminding our our fellow man why Christ came he, he came to redeem us he came to save us and so he came so humbly in a human form to again, I believe, to let him know how approachable he is. You know, when he went in, in uh, during his ministry, when he went and embraced somebody who was sick or a leper, he didn't do it out of fear. He didn't cower down. He didn't mask up. He didn't, he didn't approach them from a distance and just shouted, hey, you're healed. No, he, he embraced them. He loved them. In this time in which we're in, love your family. Love your neighbor. Understand that we are, we are approaching the next time he will appear. He will appear in all his majesty in the clouds with the shout of an archangel and the blast of the trumpet of God. What a mighty and powerful day that will be. Please. It is so important that we share Christ's love. Matter of fact, the scripture tells us that God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his son for us. That whoever believes in him shall not perish and have everlasting life. Trust and believe and have faith in him. Be strong in him. Understand that nothing can touch us. Matter of fact, if, if, if Christ is for, for us, if God is for us, who can be against us? Let's not shrink back in these times, in these for many scary times. As a Christ follower, we are not to fear at all. We are not to fear about anything. As a matter of fact, we are to be bold, be brave, be courageous. In this time, in these last days, let us be courageous. Let us not shrink back in fear. I know when you look around, it's, it's 100% fear-based because I believe that the enemy is trying to scare you. Matter of fact, Scripture tells us that the enemy is, to hear, is here to lie, steal, and destroy. But Jesus Christ, our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, is here to bring everlasting life. You know, when Christ appears in the clouds, for the Christ follower, it'll be a glorious and amazing, mighty and wonderful, joyful day. And for those who do not follow Christ, and for those who are not sealed in Christ, who may know of him, but who are not sealed in him, what a terrible, horrible day that will be. It is so important that we understand what Jesus Christ actually did for us. And like I mentioned earlier, is I, I'm still convinced we take this for granted. We take for granted what truly happened. I realize that we have a sin nature, that, we're, that we have to live on this earth that is plagued with sin. The plague of sin. We don't have a plague of a virus. We have a plague of sin in this world and everyone is infected by it <laughs> thank you jesus that our vaccine thank you jesus that our hope thank you jesus that we are sealed in him he is our redeemer he is our redemption he is our cure let's not put our hope and faith in this world you know Scripture says, you know, some trust in horses and some trust in chariots, but we will trust in the name of our God. Now, are you trusting in that, especially in these times? Maybe you're, maybe you're living in fear right now. 
in this time, you know, uh, maybe your state representatives are, are telling you not to visit your family or not to worship or not to sing praises to our King and our Savior. And I say rejoice. I see sing praises from the hilltops. Yell praises from the street corners. Embrace your family. Love your family. Jesus Christ did not fear when he went into the streets. When he went into the, well, for lack of a better term, the, the poor neighborhoods. The, he went where the people were. He did not cower down. He did not, you know... Uh, <laughs> He did not stay hunkered down in some house with a door locked and a, and a cloth over his face. No, he went forth. He embraced, again, like I mentioned before, the leper, the sick. He shared his kingdom. He shared his love. And in this time, as a Christ follower, you need to stand firm and share the love of Jesus Christ. Tell about his greatness let them know about his mercies, especially in these times. People are seeking. People are wondering. People are, are searching for answers. You have that answer if you're a Christ follower. If the world sees you just like that they are, do they even realize you're a Christ follower? Are you standing bold? Are you standing firm as a follower of Jesus, as a follower of Jesus Christ? Or, or is, when the world sees you, do they see themselves? It is so important, especially in these days, that the world sees us as who we're supposed to be, as followers of Christ, not fearful. They see the joy in our face. They don't see a mask. They see us standing for what is true and righteous and right. And we do not bow down to unlawful, unlawful men who are trying to enslave us. We are a slave but to no man when we are a follower of Jesus Christ. Understand something. Jesus Christ is at the door. Again, like I mentioned before, when that trumpet sounds for the Christ follower, it is the most glorious day that we'll ever have. Because you know, right then we're going to enter into his kingdom. But for the non-Christ follower, or for one who, who has refused to follow him, even though they know him, what a tragic and terrible and horrible day that will be. Share the love of Christ. Embrace your fellow man. Don't let what is going around, and I mean what's going around with the media, what the, what the government is trying to, to sell you, because that's all they're, they're trying to sell you of what's going on. I'm here to share of what Christ has already proclaimed. The victory has already been won. He has already been, he is already victorious. Why are we afraid? Why are you afraid? Do not fear, do not shrink back. Stand firm in this season. And again, in, in North America, we call it the Christmas season. We celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, our Savior, the Savior of mankind. So again, let's don't split hairs where that term came from. He is knocking on the door. He is knocking on the door of your heart. Will you answer? Especially this time, will you share with others around you of how to soon appearing in the clouds? Will you love your fellow man or will you again cower down in your homes Keep your faces covered and not talk to people and stay, definitely stay apart because that's what, that's what we're told to do. I say embrace, share the love of Jesus Christ just as he did. Quit fearing about what could happen to you. Fear what our Savior can do. Fear what Abba Father can do. Jesus Christ is at the door. He is calling a people, a bride who will stand firm, stand for him and stand for his kingdom. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. And as always, it is in the name of by the blood of Jesus Christ, our Savior, I pray. Amen. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye.